Hi Virgo and welcome to your November Tarot reading. I'm using my Magic Soul Tarot today for you and I'm going to lay out the Celtic Cross. This is a reading if your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus sign is in Virgo. Welcome also to all the Cross Watchers. All right, let's start. What are the energies for Virgo? What are the energies for Virgo in November? What is Virgo supposed to know now? for their November. All right, let's start. The main energy is, wow, we actually do have quite a lot, 10 of pentacles here in this month uh, for you as well. 10 of pentacles, but the king of pentacles is the challenge. We have the five of wands, strength, we have the chariot over here and the king, another king energy, uh, is coming towards you, King of Swords. Then we have your energy as the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Your advice is the Princess of Cups. I almost thought there would be something like that. And at the bottom of the deck, bottom of the deck we do have the ten of wands yes okay so i feel like there's a situation that you work for um, i feel like there's a situation that you work for for quite a while uh, i do feel like you are exhausted uh, that might be a con connection it might be connected to a relationship here uh, it might be literally connected to work but i feel like there it has been a lot of work uh, the ten of wands tells me that you are a little bit overburdened. Maybe, as I've said, because of literal work. You might be tired, you might be exhausted. Um, this is basically an energy that is already present. Maybe you're not quite conscious about this at the moment. Because what I can see here with the Ten of Pentacles is that there has been something in your life that you worked for for quite a long time. So there is long-term success, there is really stability, this might have to do with uh, you um, having made a business successful and having it kept going for quite a while um, or you have really worked on your finances and kept them going on a really good level for quite a while. This could also be related to your home and family. Build up, uh, you might have built up a family and really worked for the family and managing everything here. Um, the king of pentacles here in this position and a challenge, a challenge position basically means that you are maybe have gone into an energy of being a workaholic. Um, so that is one aspect here, right? Um, King of Pentacles really being focused on I want stability, I want security, I want everything really to work long term. And while you in a way have achieved that, I also feel like you have um, you have overburdened yourself. Now. Like I said, for some of you, this is in the area of work and business. For some of you, this is in the area of home and family. For some of you, that might be simply connected to a long-term relationship. But I also feel like, um, especially for those who this is a long-term relationship, the king of pentacles here in this position can be a bit difficult because somebody might be a little bit rigid or maybe your partner is a workaholic. Maybe you don't see your partner, your partner is working all the time. And what we can see here is what you're thinking about. So one aspect here is uh, challenges in terms of conflicts. So there is a conflict that you are experiencing in November. Like I said, maybe because your partner is working all the time to give you the abundance and this abundant lifestyle. Um, also, like I said, the King of Pentacles could be, there could be something connected to traditions. Maybe somebody is very traditional and very rigid and is like, oh, we've always done it this way. We need to do it this way again. And what is the topic of we need to do it this way again? It's about how to achieve a long-term stability or how to achieve long-term success. Somebody might have a very traditional rigid approach because we've done it always like that we need to do it again like that um, 
the five of uh, the five of ones here also could mean that there are certain challenges um, but with the five of ones it's about making something something successful so creating more success improving a situation all of this is something you're basically thinking about how can we improve the situation there are conflicts there are struggles it's not easy how can we improve the situation that's basically um, what you are focused on and what you're thinking about and like I said we have the ten of pen um, the ten of ones here so there is this overburden energy uh, you got here by the way with the chariot and the chariot talks about that you were very much focused on achieving your goal or you were very much focused on going in a specific direction with a chariot you took your willpower to control a situation or to really decide in what uh, or what path to take and what direction to go so there has been a successful forward movement when it comes to that situation and again, we can see this with the Ten of Pentacles here. For some of you, this might have been a move, um, a move into a beautiful new home that is now here for you to enjoy for a long time. But again, we have the, uh, the rigid traditional uh, King of um, Pentacles here or somebody who's just maybe away for work all the time maybe to improve a situation however i have a feeling looking at this energy here which is your hope and fears that a relationship is coming closer again because you with a queen of uh, queen of cups here you're like very much in love you're very caring you're very nurturing it's like you are very understanding and i feel like that's probably what you already said in that situation like okay i can understand why my partner is like that um however i do feel like what you hope and wish for is a relationship that comes closer again on an emotional level i see that you have a lot of compassion in your heart you have a lot of inner strength um maybe because of challenges that you needed to work through yourself because that's basically how this card comes to manifest in our lives so uh, whenever we go through challenges that make us stronger we gain more strength here and that's what i can see on the emotional side of things so your strength here is actually your emotional maturity you're in, you have a very high emotional intelligence and i feel like you're very compassionate very caring very gentle very soft um with probably the other person here like i said for most of you because of this aspect we see a relationship in some shape or form even if this is a business relationship uh, or if this is about business um, that could be the other interpretation of this combination here if this is about business and you really working hard and maybe you being the workaholic here i feel like what you're really longing for is having more quality time again with your loved ones and maybe you're struggling because you're trying to improve the situation your business your finances you are very strong emotionally and very compassionate but i do feel like this aspect is missing because at the moment everything is around the aspect of pentacles and why with the ten of pentacles it's an awesome card where you could also have a windfall so your finances in november could be really strong or even getting better but this comes i feel like with a price of being really focused on um, business business work 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 now the energy is not really getting any softer soon uh, you're going to move into something here which is quite good we're going to get there in a second but with the king of swords here and the energy is again very masculine and then we have the swords which is another very masculine energy so you're moving into this energy of where there the king of of swords is not very emotional but what he does is he's going to he's gaining clarity um he knows now that's the, the the energy of I know. I know what I need to do in order to achieve my vision. So that feels to me like an energy that you are going to embody. Um, no matter in what kind of situation. If this is in a relationship, you're going to be very firm. You're going to be um, talking to your partner saying, I don't want to continue like that. I am really missing quality time. And that is also the advice, which is why 
when I laid out all of these cards and so saw the Princess of Cup appearing here, which is a page of cup, um, then it's it was it made so much sense that you should really look what makes your heart happy what do you need to fill up your own cup and go maybe into a, some sort of conversation communication about your dreams about your hopes about what your heart and uh, what your heart really needs or what you really wish for um, to be emotionally nurtured especially having the queen of uh, cups here where you are a very nurturing energy um, and if this is about a business, then I do feel like you in general love what you do. And that might be the thing why you are such a workaholic here and really building up the finances, building up the stability from a business point of view. But I do feel like you need to attend a little bit more to your own personal, personal needs. So I feel like what you need to um, bring into November again as the advice here is the energy of love the energy of uh, joy, doing things that you really love to do. But the good thing is you're going to be very clear about this in, I was just about to say, in a second, you're going to be really clear about this. So uh, already in November, this clarity is going to come in. And if this is also about a connection in your life, you're going to have a very mature conversation about this topic and really speak your truth and speak what it is that you need. And while this is the Queen of Swords, I do feel, however, that emotions are involved in that conversation. It's just a very rational, clear conversation about your needs on the emotional side of things especially with having the Ten of uh, Wands here. The Ten of Wands is always an energy where you need to um, be careful. Be careful that you don't uh, burn yourself out. Um, so something is really weighing heavy on you and while it made you stronger, we have that here again, while you are in a way very resilient and very strong, um, I also feel now it's time really to attend to your personal and emotional needs. Um, in the outside environment, we do have the Eight of Swords. Now, this could be the another person. It could be something in the outside, or could be something, uh, or it could be the energy that another person or the outside, in some shape or form, has onto you. If this is another person, somebody's very much blocked, and somebody's very much in their own mind. Again, this could be the effect that somebody has onto you somebody might make you really think and you being in your in your mind with uh, uh, what other people think maybe you think too much about what other people think of you and you have taken on the um, maybe you've taken on the beliefs and thoughts of other people and that is basically blocking you and it might mean that another person has taken on um, beliefs of other people, especially when we're dealing here with a person like the King of Pentacles in the block position. So King of, King of Pentacles in the block position is somebody who's very, very traditional and is very rigid and is like, this is how we do it. And that obviously could be a blocking energy here, right? Just those two cards. So um, you might be dealing with somebody who can't really at least at the moment, um, see other ways because this is how we do it and this is how we always done it and this is maybe how we, my parents have done it or people before me have done it. So somebody might have really taken on some uh, beliefs from somebody else. Um, with the two of cups here, I already explained that I feel like you're looking to uh, or you're, you're hoping to have more quality time together again or to maybe have more time with your loved ones again depending on who like what um, energy this is if this is about you working you hope you're going to have more quality time again with your loved ones if this is your partner working a lot you hope that the two of you are going to come closer again um with the queen of pentacles i feel like that's a good development in that sense that we still have pentacles here so you're moving from pentacle through the clarity through the conversation into the queen and while we still are in the element of pentacles managing business finances managing um the home the family 
that's still present, but we have it in a more feminine energy and that's a little bit more caring. So here we have uh, somebody who's very um, understanding and compassionate as well. And who, he is somebody who really wants that, um, that people feel good that uh, people feel good also on a physical level, that yeah, they have things that make them feel good. The typical queen of pentacles, for example, is somebody who says, oh, you're ill. I'm going to make you um, a hot soup. I'm going to nurture you now. You're going to have a blanket, a hot water bottle, all these things. So there is more like a nurturing energy that is coming towards you. But I also feel like no matter in what situation that you are starting to manage your time, um, how you work on certain situations um, and, and when you work at situations. So there is this aspect of managing that situation slightly better so everybody involved feels good. Um, you might also get some help here. Um, there might be another person who might be able to help you in this situation or who's giving you a helping hand, especially if you are working a lot. There could be some help connected to work coming in, uh, a helping hand in some shape or form or somebody who helps you to make a plan and to manage things maybe a little bit better. Let's pull another card uh, to close the reading. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Now, I really feel like that card reflects the energy here. Uh, I think it's important that you speak your truth connected to that situation and that you are, um, um, I feel like being authentic is, is a word that like is you so overused now. Um, but I feel like what's very important here is in the near future to gain clarity about what is it that you truly want and need. Um, I do fear this has to do with your emotions and being happy, fulfilled, um, integrating more things that give you joy that are not as dry as that situation here, which obviously can give you a beautiful, um, if this is about business, it gives you a beautiful lifestyle, but it's also about enjoying that lifestyle. And I feel like uh, this is a very similar energy. I mean, the, the king of swords, could be an air sign, could be Aquarius. So in that sense, I feel like it's very important that you gain the clarity about what it is that you truly need. And once you've gained that, you're going to move in a, to a slightly softer energy here. All right. Um, I hope you resonate with the reading. This is your November reading and I'm looking forward to see you guys next time.